What's up, everybody? It's Bill from High Volume Games, and welcome to another episode of Promotion Wars. Uh, this is episode number 13, so hopefully it's not going to be unlucky for us. Uh, if you caught the last episode, uh, you know, Mother Nature decided to take a shot at, at us while uh, Austin Aries was cutting a promo against the city of St. Petersburg. Uh, if you're not, go back into the last episode at 3440, and you can see it. Uh, did not see the uh, lightning flash behind me, and yeah, just it even shook the camera. That was the pretty funny part. Um, as far as the show went, it was a decent show. Uh, you know, the thing is, like I said, when we do the when we come off of our big show, it seems like the first the first house show and into the second house show, we have to build. Um, and last one, we had an injury that, again, hurt, but then now we've got, much like Le when Redbeard got hurt and Leo Rush became the emerging star, uh, now we have uh, Mad Braddock's got injured as he was basically put into the Interstate Championship title picture, and now we had to make a decision who... Uh, who we would put as a heel. Uh, Andrew Everett had already run through. Uh, Disco and Danhausen are in the tag. So it was really... Uh, Air Paris is now dealing with Adam Williams. Uh, so we had to figure it out, and the best way we decided to do it was to turn L.A. Park heel. And so he's going to be heel. He's going to join the... Uh, misunderstood faction that was Maddox uh, or Braddox uh, Disco Housing but yeah now LA Park's going to join that group um, and go after Lance for the interstate title so I think that um, was the best course of action and it's going to lead for some interesting little fights that we're going to have this week so, with that being said, I don't think there's a lot more to discuss as we're getting into the Emergence uh, pay-per-view. Uh, we have two shows this time, and then that will lead into the Emergence pay-per-view. So, let's get into it. We're also rising. Uh, we're over 89% right now, uh, rating. Uh, so, we want to get up, keep going up. We want those investors to like us. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the action. And here we go. We're just going to transition today. Rather than doing the three uh, different videos, we're just going to transition right in. Okay. So let's just remind ourselves, our champions, our Aries. Uh, Jordan Grace is still the HGW Women's Champion. She is... She is coming to the Emergence pay-per-view. Uh, Scotty Valentine is the parking lot champion. Uh, Lance is the interstate champion. And that disco guy and Dan Housen are our tag team champions. All right, so we're going to go right into the show because I don't think... Uh, we still have to figure out who we're going to sign uh, for uh, to book for our uh, match. And I did think of somebody I wouldn't mind seeing. So let's go down to the T's. Now that we're in the T's. How much? It's a thought later on, but oh. let's go to the T followed by the J and P. And at $560, let's try to sign TJP. Oh, shoot. Look at me on my scrolling thing. I put the wrong date. That's okay. And he will. He will be at... TJP will be at the Emergence pay-per-view. I think likely I'm going to put him with Paul London. But he's got that 74 draw. You know. And Paul London's kind of got that niche of... Uh, he's he's the guy that's going to fight the booker. Or the booked uh, wrestler. Alright, so TJP and his 74 draw rating is going to come into our show. We might think about someone else, um, but 
Uh, not at the moment. We're going to get right into the show. We're going to get to the Dane City Armory because we just haven't made it there, finished it yet. We've sold out Betty D. Smith. Uh, we've sold out the Bartow. Dade City, we've come close. Can we get that 145? I feel we're going to go 7 in this one. And we're going to have our main event. I, I kind of touted this on social media. But our main event is going to be a tag team match. Pitting our current dominating HVW champion Austin Aries. He is going to team up with our new turncoat uh, LA Park. And they are going to face the emerging superstar. Get it? Emerging. Emer uh, emergence pay-per-view. Uh, Leo Rush and the interstate champion Lance. So this is our first time ever we're going to see the world champion and the interstate champion on opposite sides. All right, I want to see a match between Disco Housen, no, not Disco Housen, Dan Housen, uh, with Disco there, uh, and Davey Boy Smith Jr. Let's up that feud. Uh, let's put. Okay, yeah, he is in a few. Okay, so let's put all London up with Eric Redbeard, just because we want their draw values. Uh, you know, Redbeard's not got the ability, uh, but London can probably help put him through. Um, so then let's put... Let's just go right with Adam Williams and Air Paris. Let's go with Tommy O'Neill and Daniel Maccabee. Let's put Nicole Matthews up against Amber Nova. And let's finish it off. Not for the... Well, they are going to beat the crap out of each other, but not for the title. Uh, Scotty Valentine and Viking. Are, that's the one title that's got a low rating. So let's not defend it every time. <laughs> All right. So it's going to load up. going to tell us our... Uh, did we sell out? Did we... Uh, get a good rating you know we want above 80s as far as on a house show mother nature's already a random bird just right up by the window <laughs> uh, so yeah our goal here is to hopefully sell out uh, Dade City because we've been close but not gotten there yet and then Hopefully get a plus 80, you know, somewhere above 80%. And then we'll see. Oh, we got 134. So we're getting closer. We were 119. So we're going to see the highlights. We're going to slow this down so I can possibly read it. All right. Uh, Viking with a barrage of shots with a trash can lid. Uh, finally, the final with the trash can itself knocking Scotty down. Viking connects with ethnic cleansing on Scotty Valentine and gets the win. The, the number one contender gets the win. Uh, Alpha Jr. here telling Dade City that he could beat Andrew Everett any day. The crowd is chanting, right here, right now, right here, right now. And Everett comes out, and there's going to be a fight. 
Security's trying to break it up. Security can't stop it. This is far from over. Nicole Matthews hitting the Vancouver maneuver on Nova, continuing to build herself up. The former champ takes the win over Amber Nova. And an interview. It's summertime with Summer Rae. And her guest, uh oh, is L.A. Park. Is he going to explain his actions? He wants to get something off his chest. There's definitely some issues between these two. Oh, and that was it. Tommy O'Neill and Daniel Maccabee. O'Neill connects with the power slam on Maccabee. And Tommy O'Neill makes the cover and gets the pinfall. He is moving up in this fed. And then, and, there's going to be a day where somewhere down the road, uh, Tommy O'Neill and it, homegrown Adam Williams are either going to be a dominant team or are going to face each other because they're running so uh, parallel. Uh, Eric Cannon and Evan Gonzalez talking. Gonzalez comes to the ring and attacks Eric Cannon. Gonzalez throws Cannon out of the ring. Cannon does not look happy. When is Eric Cannon ever happy? Uh, with the referee's back turn, Air Paris hits Adam Williams with a low blow. Paris rolls him up. Handful of tights and gets the win. Homegrown Adam Williams, especially America, getting cheated out of a win by Air Paris. That could be an O'Neill are talking backstage. They talk about who's the better wrestler. Well, today it was O'Neill. Nope, they're talking about another one on one. Clearly, a feud is building between these two, it says. London and Redbeard. London on the top rope. He goes for the 450 splash, but misses. Oh no. Redbeard hits him with the Iron Claw Slam. And gets the win. Disco housing. Talk about TV Boy and Chris Harris. They hear it. They now take nightsticks and hit Disco housing over the head with them. Oh my goodness. Disco has a now up and blindside them from behind. We got four wrestlers that, that are feuding and they are going to battle. And now Dis Danhausen has to take on Davey Boy Smith Jr. And Davey Boy Smith Jr. hits the running power slam on Danhausen. Makes the cover and gets the win. And now our interesting main event. The t oh no, wait, we're going to have one more interview segment. It's Viking. These guys had to, see, they got the, the late interview because they had to clean themselves up after that hardcore match. Let's go. As Viking goes back, Scotty Valentine attacks him from behind. And here's our tag team match with L.A. Park down on the mat. Leo Rush going to the top rope. He comes off with Dragon's Call. It connects. And the number one contender wins the tag team match, pinning L.A. Park. All right, let's check out the ratings. So we got Viking versus Scotty Valentine, 83%. What a, what a fine Scotty Valentine was for that hardcore division. Plus, he can actually put a wrestling match together, too. Uh, Nicole Matthews and Amber Nova went 72. Not bad at all, especially for a throw-em-together match. Uh, Tommy O'Neill, Danny McAbee, 81%. Air Paris and Adam Williams, 75%. Uh, Eric Redbeard and Paul London, 75%. Davey Boy and Disco House in 78 And this, this, again, now, in this tag team match where we had two guys who made a 90 match, but we also were putting Lance and L.A. Park in there, 
Still got a 79%. That is good. And look at that overall show rating, 82.06%. We will take that any day. And we will take the fact that it's a two-email day, because that means nobody got injured. <laughs> okay. So we got 1600 bucks from the show. That's nice. We'll go. It's going up. It's going up. And fans thought it was a good shoe. All right. We're going to skip ahead. Oh, two emails. The new record. Jordan Grace has become the previous, has broken the previous record for the longest reign as the women's champion. Now, she's only defends once a month, she, but he, she makes it during that 30 day. <laughs> Oh, did I did you see that little change in the uh, up on the corner? Hold on, we're doing an excellent job. We are at ninety-two percent rating. Look at that, great job. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to now add LA Park. To the misunderstood. Okay. So on our feuds, the tag feud is going great. Uh, Aries and Rush is moving up. They're all moving up. That's a good thing. Evan Gonzalez and Eric Cannon, even though they weren't on the show, is still a good feud. And these other ones, so all seven are, or all eight feuds are going well. All right. So we are going to go to the St. Petersburg Armory. Uh, we're going to have six matches. Uh, match five, four, five, four. Match four. It's going to be a six man tag between the current members of The Misunderstood, and that is LA Park and Disco Housing. And they are going to take on Davy Boy, Chris. And Lance. All right. Uh, we're going to have a because I'm just glutton for it. I want Austin Aries. And Leo Rush in a two out of three falls match. Let's put all London. Let's give that. Let's give this match to. Uh, Alpha and Everett. They deserve that. Uh, give me a tag team match, pitting our, the tag team that it was that piqued a little interest online on social media. This Tommy O'Neill and Adam Williams will go up against Air Paris and Daniel Maccabee. We'll do an intergender match between Evan Gonzalez 
and Amber Nova. Oh, no, no. I said intergender. That wasn't what I meant. Changing it. What I want is a... No, I want an intergender tag team match. There we go. All right. I want Evan Gonzalez and Amber Nova versus uh, Eric Cannon and Summer Rae. Who is left? Who? Who? Besides our, well, we have our tag team. I mean, our, our hardcore. Let's, uh, let's do a four way. What else? No, I did not want a four way barbed wire ropes match. Cause, yeah, yeah, we could we could probably do that, but <laughs> let's give me that four-way backstage brawl. Viking Scotty, Cannonball, and Godwin. All right. Is our two or three falls match for the? World title gonna get us the 150. <laughs> Plus the the new look, uh, misunderstood with L.A. Park leading the way with Disco Housen by his side. There are some big questions coming up in the next few days about. What happens when some of these people that are out injured return? You know, Ryan Nemeth there. Oh, look at this. Look at that. 150 sellout for St. Petersburg. We actually jumped over Dade City and hit it on St. Petersburg. Oh, no, no, no. We want to, we want to see the highlights of this. <laughs> Selling out St. Pete. In the backstage brawl, we're live from the concourse. We see Scotty Valentine and Cannonball fighting. Cannonball grabs a tray of food and waffles Scotty Valentine with it. I thought he was get, hitting him with waffles. That would be great. Scotty Valentine goes down with a decorative planter. But the shrubbery, but in the shrubbery of the arena is a soda can. They shake and pop open the can. Did he really win? Because he shook a can and just, you know, sprayed him in the face with it. That is amazing. I love it. More more issues between our tag team. Summer Ray hits the Summer Crush on Nova and makes the cover and gets the win. Eric Cannon and Summer Ray. And that Summer Ray is interviewing. And there's a fight broken out. Oh, it was Tommy O'Neill and Maccabee. Okay. It didn't actually say who at first, but now it's O'Neill says they should have a match. Maccabee agrees. But we have a tag match of O'Neill and Williams. Maccabee locks in the Maccabee lock pie on Williams. Adam Williams has nowhere to go. Adam Williams loses both matches in this episode. <laughs> Daniel Maccabee, this might be the end of that streak we saw. You know, he has been losing to everybody. I think he just won his first match in a long time. Williams and Paris are talking backstage to each other. Look at this. Air Paris just taunting Adam Williams after Williams taps out to McAvee. It's just not right. The Misunderstood versus Davy Boy, Chris Harris, and Lance. With L.A. Park down on the mat, Lance goes to the top rope. Lance hits the Samoan splash. It connects. It's over. 
Davy Boy, Chris, and Lance beat the Misunderstood. And now Lance come, has the microphone in his hand after trash talking. He's going to cut a promo on L.A. Park. L.A. Park is going to come back out and respond and walks away, having the last word. Alpha versus Andrew. Alpha's going to go to the top rope. He hits the frog splash. Good day for the Samoans. It is over. Alpha wins, and we have... This, this is going to be... And now he's going to talk. Oh, but Everett comes back and gets him with a steel chair. And this continues up the ramp. Adam, oh, Andrew Everett has made a statement here. Two out of three falls for the heavyweight title. It's one to one. Leo Rush looks to end the night here. They charge in, but Austin Aries has their wits. Last chancery locked in out of nowhere. It is over. Adam Aries has it in deep. Leo Rush, can, can he make it to the ropes? No. Leo Rush does not win. Austin Aries wins 2-1. to one. All right, so our backstage brawl got a 68. Our intergender tag match got a 70. Our tag team match got a 77. Our six-man tag got a 73. Our Alpha and Robert got a 75. But our two out of three falls match gets the new highest ever, a 91%. <laughs> and our overall show still gets over 80, 80.53. Uh oh, we have an in. Oh no, what happened? Who's mad? Who's injured? What's going on? Three emails. Jeff Cannonball is injured. He will be out with a four months with a torn hamstring. And, okay, we didn't really have anything for Jeff Cannonball at the moment, but that's still sad. Uh, and ticket sales were 1500 We made 1800 on that one. So that is a new record. We sold out. Uh, fans thought it was a good show. I'm just going to go through. Oh, look at that. The rating is 95. <laughs> Wages. Excellent job. Baby Boy Smith Jr. has been a guest on the Steve Austin show. With Stone Cold Steve Austin, during his interview, he mentioned high volume wrestling. He joked that he seems to he seemed to gain a reputation as that cage match guy in his first few months with the promotion. That is very true. He did. And he, you know what? Because he said that at the pay-per-view, it will be Discohausen versus Davy Boy and Chris Harris inside a steel cage. <laughs> uh. All right. So that leads us to the show. So we will do Emergence next week, or on our Wednesday night taping. Uh, our, our Wednesday night real-life taping. <laughs> so we'll leave it there. 95%. Just check. Ooh. Harrison Gilchrist. He's an old-style heavyweight. He doesn't have any real in-ring ability, but he's got a good hardcore. I mean, we just lost Jeff Cannonball. He's got good mic skills. He's got charisma. And yeah, let's pick him up. Uh, we might want to give him a new name, though, but Harrison Gilchrist. <laughs> All righty. We'll take him. And... That is going to be it, so let's take it back. We're going to, like I said, we're not going to 
cut and transition, we're just going to go right over to the scene. Oh, I'm in the wrong scene. Yes, live TV. <laughs> you saw my Marlins uh, logo. Um, all right. So actually, that was a pretty good episode. We, uh, like I said, we're just the first two are building, and then we're really going. We got steam on those two episodes after. So I what I liked that main event with uh, Aries in LA Park uh, versus Leo Rush. Again, you had Leo Rush win that one. Give him, giving himself some momentum. Unfortunately, he then lost it. Uh, but a 91% match on that world title? Uh, yes, we, we want more of that. How about the fact that our federation as a whole is now 95%? Look at that. Uh, the tag team uh, championship match, that feud is going hot right now. Uh, like I said, we're going to see them in a steel cage because of what Davy Boy just said. Um, and yeah, these other feuds are going slow, but they're they're it's cooking. You know, uh, there was a guy uh, who used to do videos on YouTube. Uh, he's still on Twitter a little bit, but Puppet. Uh, he used to always say, you know, you know, slow cooking. Put up, put these these feuds in a pot and just let them let them bubble and you know, and that's what we're doing. These things are slow cooking. They're getting ready for our emergence pay-per-view. So, with that, I'm going to leave you tonight. Uh, hope you all are doing well. Thanks to everybody. Um, what a month. Uh, it looks like we're going to be right at or about uh, 600 views. Um, this, this brand here, this series of Promotion Wars, has definitely helped with that. Um, and it's also so much fun to play this every week uh and it's fun to talk with you guys on uh twitter don't forget to follow me at, at games underscore volume see i remembered this time so follow me there i love talking about it with you guys uh, and we'll see you next time have a great night everyone take care